Hey guys, it's Will at Song Kong Cinema Appreciation Society. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thank you for finding me. I hope you liked the video. I hope you liked the channel. I hope you liked the content. If you want to give us a subscribe, that would be a huge help. Thank you so much. You give us a thumbs up, a comment, all that fun stuff. So what are we here to talk about today? Today I'm here to talk about Fallen Angels. Yet again, I know I've made a lot of videos about this movie. It's a Wong Kar Wai film. It's released in 1995. It's the fifth film that he made as a writer and a director. And what I'm really here to talk about is I was originally going to include this as like a segment in my review, but then I was like, now nah, the review is going to be like 30 minutes long if I do that. It's already like 20 plus minutes. So I wanted to keep the length a little bit down on that video. I should also tell you it's a little bit windy outside right now, so you might be hearing the noise of the wind blowing around. That's what that is. I'm sorry about that. It is what it is. This is where I'm filming right now. I, I kind of just want to talk about why this film means so much to me because I, I was thinking a lot about this movie and it occurred to me in thinking about it over the course of rewatching it. I've watched it like three times now in the past couple of days. Um, I was thinking about why it's so important to the way that I l understand movies and the films that I love so much. And it occurred to me that this might be the most important movie I've ever seen in my life to me personally. And I know that's a weird thing to say and that's a big statement to make and it can be really hard to pinpoint stuff like that. And I also invite people to drop in the comments of this video what are like the most important films for you in your life. And there, really when I think about that, I think about a group of movies. It's hard for me to start picking them apart, but if I had to pinpoint one, I'm starting to think of it maybe it is this movie. Let me explain to you why this movie was released on VHS in 1999 by Kino. That was the version of the movie that I saw. And so if if the video store that I rented it from had gotten it the year it came out, I would have been 16 when I saw this movie. Maybe I was 17, maybe it was like at some point in 2000, I was either 16 or 17. I kind of think I was 16. I had never ever seen anything like this movie before, not just because it's set in Hong Kong and is really very much about the city, but also because it's such an odd movie. It's this very ethereal, otherworldly, kind of disorienting, very strange and unique film. And it really just blew my mind. I was totally hypnotized and enraptured by it. And it opened up so many avenues of possibility in my mind for what films could be and what my relationship for films could be in multiple ways. In the first way, that movie ended and I stopped the tape to rewind it and it's just like this light went on in my head of like, I just spent 100 minutes, 90 minutes, whatever, in Hong Kong. And I could return this to the video store tomorrow and I could go spend 90 minutes or two hours, whatever, in Tokyo or I could go to France or I could go to, you know, Italy and like, Suddenly the potential of cinema from all over the world just like came to me in this flood and I became really obsessed with watching films from all over the world. I, and I think that before I saw this movie, I saw Hate, the French film, which is a movie I still really, really love. That movie blew me away. That was like a really, really important film for me too. But for whatever reason, that movie didn't hit me the same way of like, whoa, I just spent 90 minutes in Paris or 100 minutes, wherever. I can go now to all these other places. It was really Fallen Angels that did that for me. And that was a really big moment for me. It was also a movie that made me realize kind of the endless possibilities of cinema as a form. It's not just storytelling. It's not just about character and arc and action and genre like comedy, drama, that kind of stuff. It could be anything. And it can be personal and it can be emotional and it can be intuitive. It doesn't have to make sense in an intellectual way as long as it means something to you. And this was really the movie that started to plant that seed in my head. The other thing I'll say that was very important about this film for me is that it it was the it, it made me want to seek out films by the filmmaker beyond what I could find at the video store. Right? So you know, I really liked, like, for instance, Oliver Stone when I was in high school, right? So I saw maybe, like, Any Given Sunday or something that came out around that time. And I was like, well, this movie is awesome. I need to see more films by this filmmaker. And I would go to the video store, and I'm like, there's an Oliver Stone section, and I'll just rent those movies, and then whatever. With Mark Carway, it was like, well, what, they don't really have any other, like, like, maybe they had Chunking Express, but, like, there was nothing else there. And then I read about In the Mood for Love coming out. It wasn't showing anywhere around me. It was showing about an hour away from me. And I went to see that movie. And that was the first time I went, I had traveled like a distance. It was like, like I said, about an hour or so to see uh, like a, a foreign film like that. I, I did travel to see some movies. Like I, I went about an hour or so to see Snatch when that came out because I loved 
Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. And was like, that came out around the, I actually saw that around the same time that I saw Fallen Angels. That was like, made a huge impression. I mean, I absolutely loved that movie. And, you know, being half English too. Um, my mom is English. And I, I've talked about that on the channel before. If you're new to the channel now, you know, I'm half, half American, half English, dual citizen and all that stuff. And so that film like meant a lot to me, like culturally and stuff like that. But also I just thought it was hilarious and amazing. And, um, so, so it was really this group of films. Like, like I said, it was Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. I saw Pulp Fiction around that time, Train Spotting. Um, and uh, Fallen Angels hate the French film, and it, those are really kind of like the movies that did it for me. Out of sight to the Steven Soderbergh film and um, Fight Club, and then uh, what's the uh, David O. Russell Three Kings? Like that, that kind of this group of movies. The Matrix came out around that time too. The Matrix actually came out. Fun fact for you, I, if I'm not mistaken, on my 16th birthday. So, um, but anyway. This is Will. It's Hong Kong Cinema Appreciation Society. Just uh, kind of reflecting upon Fallen Angels as it's been re-released by Criterion on Blu-ray and thinking about my relationship with that film and why it was so important to me. And like really, it's the film that made me seek out Hong Kong cinema, especially because previous to seeing that film, I had seen Jackie Chan movies, but I never really thought of Jackie Chan as Hong Kong cinema because, you know, you have Schwarzenegger and you have Van Damme and these people who are, you know, Dolph Lundgren, who are so big when I was growing up and watching action movies and stuff. They're all from other countries and they all have accents and they're all making movies kind of all over the world. And and Jackie Chan in the 90s was doing the same thing of like hopping all around the world making these films. And I kind of thought of him as like part of this international action star culture. I didn't think of him as Hong Kong cinema. And it was Wong Kar Wai and Fallen Angels that made me think of Hong Kong cinema, but also made me go and seek out international cinema more generally speaking and art house films and just like stuff that was off the beaten track and understanding films in different ways so that's kind of why i wanted to make this video like i said drop in the comments movies that did that for you what your relationship with different films are i would love to hear that kind of thing my name is will it's hong kong cinema appreciation society i thank you so much for watching the wind is actually making my tripod wobble so i'm gonna get out of your hair and we'll see you next time